Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything Workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi, and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we've got a map I'm quite fond of. It's by a creator we've done twice in the past, back in episodes 578 and 743, where they got 9 and 10 stars. Today's map is going to feel like an 11 or 10, maybe 11 star map. It's going to feel about that, and that's a very solid score. Okay, it's not a medal winning map, but... Uh, those sort of scores are very playable and very enjoyable maps to play on. The problem is this map is going to shoot itself in the foot and it's going to shoot itself in the foot very early. On the plus side with the knowledge I'm going to give you at the start of today's show, you'll be able to play this map without any concerns. But even so, we've got to, we've got to plow on. And do you know how to plow on? Go on. That's right, ploughing straight on with a like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Today's map is Scar Point by Babolt, formerly a Blackout One and uh, somebody we've, like I say, I've already told you, we've seen twice in the past. Your uh, start square looks very playable, in fact the entire map looks very playable. I'm really very fond of the layout of the entire map could do a really lovely aesthetic build it's very flat mostly as well meaning you could do a lovely big city here and then of course your resources look just like that so all good there too off to the workshop no dlc is required for this one we'll be using the stray cats theme homecoming and the realistic 1.2 lots and then you've got a, a leafy tree set an old leafy tree and a live oak tree to subscribe to However, when I tried to load up the game, five attempts to load the game up, it was crash, 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 crash. You do need network extensions too, or you'll be crashed like this. And there are also some missing assets off of that list as well, which I discovered while trying to fix the map. But with this information, you will be pretty much, pretty much sorted. So uh, subscribe to all those bits and pieces and you'll have a working map, which is how we're going to review it although I will consider all this information at the end of the show with the ratings. So the map is relatively flat, just one or two very mild minor hills to work with. You can see the network extensions to two lane highways here, which of course are the source of the problem. Uh, running alongside the river and there's a very strong forest feel going on here. And uh, it does say in the description, it's been designed for the detailer, but I would say the detailer or just a vanilla builder with just some basic assets, this would work perfectly fine for everybody. Apologize for the little ting of my Facebook Messenger, letting me know that I have a message. Thank you very much for that. We've also got one of these. Yes, it's the asset of the day. It's Federation House 3 by Stevie B. This is an Aussie house, apparently, and uh, it's it's really nice. I could just see myself living in this. Ah, lovely. Lovely. Good work, Stevie. Um, factoids. Why not factoids? Because factoids. Um, on this day, uh, the 5th of February in 1788, Sir Robert Peel was born. He was the founder of the Metropolitan Police Force in London. Originally known as Peas, uh, Peas, let's start again. Originally known as Peel's Bloody Gang, his name is more kindly remembered in the uh, commonly known nickname for police constables as Bobbies. Yeah, Robert Peel and his Bobbies. So there we go, Sir Robert Peel, born on this day in 1788. I think he's passed on, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good age, you know. Anyway, there we go. Uh, Federation House 3 by Stevie B. That's a really lovely asset. Hopefully plenty more to come in that little range there. Now, we've followed the highway in. What we're going to do is we're going to follow the rail back out. Now, the highway does all the roads go on a little bit further. But we'll do that in the second half of today's show because it gives us a chance to explore even further into the island. The rail is absolutely fine. It's one of these things that isn't on the uh, isn't on the list, but uh, we do need it. Look at this. Look look at just how glorious it is. The trees overhanging are fine because there's no catenaries on this rail, which uh, 
it is I, to my preference i gotta say i do prefer it i'm uh, in the catenary free area down here in the uh, in the south of the united kingdom but uh yeah i know some of you do like them and so you can replace them back if you like uh following the rail no the rail the following the coast the coast the river that's what that thing's called help uh back off in towards the fog which means we can take that intermission while i try and remember what the hell i'm doing here and try and get my words out in the right order intermission time <laughs> Want to add a custom hedge maze to your park, but don't have the time to build one? Why not try Bon Bon B's modular hedge maze set? This guide will show you how to select and use the right units. Click the information button below. And we're back with the shipping routes at Scar Point by Babolt. And um, this Babolt is a uh, oh, right angle Babolt, that is. <laughs> we carry on in towards this is your start square kind of area and your uh, your ready-made harbour and the shipping lane goes right round to the edge of the harbour that is brilliant that's exactly what we want there but if we go back to that right angle turn which is not pretty but it's kind of in the fog so you probably won't notice from your city itself we follow this along we've got another right angle turn just off here where we have a separate shipping lane that runs the entire length of the map the opposite way I want another right angle turn there which takes us in but these right angle turns are right off in the fog and probably are not going to be a huge problem water flow this is your main river running down through your start square it's a little light it is moving it is moving but it is a little light so just consider that one's always coming back towards us there actually Where's that water running down from? Is that downstream as well? Right, so about here is a null point and potential for a bit of pollution there if you're pumping out sewage. Just something to consider. Now the map as a whole, I'm really liking it. So let's have a little look at the highways and just follow them to a couple of points of interest. Uh, this first point of interest, you've probably already seen it, uh, obviously there. We have got a perfunctory uh, quarry it's fine doesn't really do anything exciting but that's fine just adds a little bit of interest to the map without that it'd just be a fairly boring oh, boring but plain map with no points of interest really we follow the road on here this is quite nice this then goes down through this little um, isthmus here and uh, down onto uh, this peninsula where you've got a bridge goes across to this separate island and then the uh, road continues to a dead end right there and that's fine it just gets everything flowing across to that mate that's a big island that big old island you could do some big stuff there and uh, we've got a main peninsula going on down there lots of build space there and we've got a secondary island and a smaller offshore island as well down here plenty of room to do all sorts of building and uh, you've got to feel it you've got to really feel the map well the thing is what do you think of the map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10. will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide what do i think i think it's gonna miss out and it makes me sad to say that because i i feel this map aesthetically um it's okay it's okay for me it's kind of a high three but what i like about it is i like the overall design of the islands and for me that just pushes it up into four stars only just it's a low four but it's for me it is a four star map so good work there detailing is okay across the board there's nothing really wrong with it it's high three low four sort of that kind of area but with missing items from the workshop i got to bring it back down to two it's a two stars for detail gameplay potential network extensions 2 is missing and so therefore it's broken and uh, in its current format it is completely unplayable because of this so with that missing off of the workshop requirements i have to give it one star so that's it scar points by Babolt. i like it but it shot itself in the foot as i did tell you at the start of today's show and that's it that is it 
Thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing, and to all of my bonbon bon buddies over on Patreon. For your continued support, you are truly the best. If you want your name on that list, head on over to patreon.com forward slash bonbon B. Uh, donate me a dollar a month. It's not much. You can't even buy a cup of coffee with a dollar these days, can you? And uh, I will be much appreciative. And I'll even add your name to that list anyway. That's it from me. I'll catch you tomorrow. I've been Bon Bon B. You have been very, very welcome. <laughs>